on Tuesday, the 20th of July, 2021, Jeff Bezos and his crew took off and landed again on the hot sands of a Texas desert, starting their mission to open up the roadways to space. It was only the second commercial flight into space, literally just days after Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic had done the same thing. Both men obviously share the same passion, but I want to talk to you about Jeff Bezos because I believe he shows the attributes of a change maker. Let's get started. On the 20th of July, 1969, Neil Armstrong became the first human to walk on the moon. It inspired a dream in the mind of a young Jeff Bezos. And 52 years later, to the date, he launched himself into space. But there are some aspects of the way Jeff describes that mission and what he's out to achieve that I believe show that he has the mindset of a change maker. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. And let's start there with mindset. I was watching an interview with Jeff Bezos as they were all suited up, ready to go. And he was asked, so why do you want to do this? And he said, I don't know how it's going to change me, but I know it's going to. And I'm excited to find out how. And he repeated that word and another one several times in the interview. He said, I'm excited and I'm curious. And those are the two words that define a change maker. They're excited to see how things turn out and they're curious as to what impact it's going to have on them and the people around them. They don't fear it. They're just excited and curious. Now, those are the attributes, of course, also of Richard Branson, who managed to pip Bezos to the post in terms of getting out into space first with his Virgin Galactic. But They've both said that it's actually not about competition. It's about both of them stretching and pushing the boundaries and seeing what's possible. So mindset is the first attribute of a change maker that Jeff Bezos is showing us. The second attribute of a change maker is vision. And here Jeff Bezos has been really clear. He says it's about building a road into space so future generations can do incredible things in space. And if you've got a project that you want to literally get off the ground, if you're a change maker, if you're someone that wants to make change happen, get that vision really clear in your mind. Because once it's there, it will drive your activity on a day-to-day basis and enable you to communicate with others what it's all about. The third attribute of a change maker that Jeff Bezos got right was his team. He traveled into space with three other people, The first was his brother, Mark. The second was a late replacement, just an 18-year-old called Oliver Damon. And the fourth was an 82-year-old former astronaut trainee called Wally Funk, who actually at the time in the 60s outperformed all of her male counterparts, but was held back because of the prejudice of the time that a woman couldn't possibly be part of a crew going into space. So although she's not the first to do that, what a great testimony to her own persistence and courage that she decided to take up the opportunity and join Jeff Bezos as an 82-year-old. But there's another aspect I want to talk to you about, which is the way Jeff Bezos and his crew communicated to everyone what they were all about. And this is true of Elon Musk. It's true of Richard Branson. And it's true of Jeff Bezos. They don't come out in front of everybody and just make a big announcement and then stop all other communication. No, what they do is they invite people to ask them questions. They engage with people. They listen. And in the process, of course, what they're doing is drawing the people around them into their mission. The change now doesn't feel like something that they're doing on their own or that they're pioneering, it looks like something that we're all involved in. So if you've been following any of these escapades into space, you'll have noticed that the Q&A format is really engaging. And again, if you've got some change that you're launching, think about how can I engage people? Don't just tell them at once and hope that they've got the message. 
And the very final attribute I wanted to talk about was something I think all of these people share, which is absolute belief. Belief in themselves, belief in the people around them, and belief in the fundamental truth that we are all put here to do incredible things. And whether that's traveling out of this world or literally being the person who is out of this world for your nearest and dearest, we're all here with a purpose. What's yours? Get clear on your purpose and I'm sure your next change project will literally shoot to the moon. Okay, if you wanna help send this episode into orbit, Give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and come back for more episodes in the future. Look after yourself.